With Kramer's rule is you're going to calculate the determinant, okay, of, okay, let me see if I can show you this here. I'll try to draw this out like so, okay. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the coefficients, okay, of the variables here, and we're gonna make it into a matrix, okay. So we've got one, one, and one, so one, 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 two, negative one, three, two, negative one, three, three, two, and one, three, two, and one. So that's gonna compose our denominator of x, y, and z. Okay, so it's gonna be the same matrix here, okay, using the coefficients, one, 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 two, negative one, three, and three, two, one. Okay, now for when we do the numerator, okay, the matrix that we're gonna use is, we're gonna use these same coefficients, but when we're solving for x, we're gonna replace the x coefficients with the solutions. So I'm gonna put six, four, and 13, but then I'm gonna put the remaining numbers here in the second and third column. Okay, so you're with me so far? So all I did is I replaced the x coefficients with the solutions. With y, I'm gonna replace the y coefficients with the solutions, so six, four, and 13. And with z, I'm gonna replace the z coefficients with the solutions. And then I'm just gonna go back and you can see I'm putting the coefficients back in here, one, three, and one. And let's see here, this is gonna be one, two, three, and one, negative one, two. All right, so we've got it all set up. Now, at this point, when you see these you know, bars like that, that means take the determinant. Usually when you have a matrix, you'll have like a little bracket, okay? But when you take the determinant of a three by three matrix, there's a couple different ways to do it. I'm gonna show you an easy way to do it, an easy way to remember it. And what you do is you just take the matrix and you write it right next to the original matrix. So I'm just gonna copy this down. One, 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 two, negative one, three, three, two, one. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply in the diagonal like so. So these guys multiply together plus these guys multiply together, okay? Plus these guys multiply together. So the ones going on the diagonal from this corner down to the right. So let's do that. So that's gonna be negative one plus nine plus four, okay? Minus, we're gonna multiply the diagonals going up to the right. So this is gonna be three times negative one times one, which is negative three. Two times three times one, which is six. And one times two times one, which is two. So if we simplify that down, we get 13 minus one is 12. Okay, and this is eight minus three, which is five, and 12 minus five is seven. So because the denominators for all three of these uh, x, y, and z, these determinants are exactly the same, we know that the denominator is going to be seven, seven, and seven. Are you with me so far? We're gonna do the same thing with the determinant here. We're gonna copy the first, uh, you're gonna copy the matrix right next to the original matrix. Okay, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just copying the matrix side by side. And I'm gonna do the same process. I'm gonna be multiplying on the diagonal. So that gives us negative six plus one times three times 13, which is 39, plus one times four times two, which is eight. Okay, so that comes out to what? Here, let's see if we can, we'll do, the, we'll do the other diagonal. So going up to the right now, that's gonna give us negative 13, negative 13, two times three times six gives us 36. So notice how we're adding those together. And then one times four times one, which gives us four. So that's 40 minus 13, which is 27. Okay, over here we have what? This is uh, 47 minus six, which is 41. And 41 minus 27 is 14, and 14 divided by seven is two. Okay, so that's it, so you got it. And you would repeat the same process for y and z, and then what you can do once you get your answer, I'll tell you the answer for this one if you wanna solve it. It should be two, three, and one. And you can check by putting it back in. Two plus three plus one is six. You know, put two, three, and one, you should get four. Two, three, and one, you should get 13.